Funny comic. Got a uh, got a book out called It Takes Balls, Dating Single Moms and Other Confessions from an Unprepared Single Dad. There it is right there. Here's comedian Josh Wolf. What's up, Josh? What's happening with you, man? How you doing? I, so you were just telling us, we were just training uh, literally war stories. Uh, uh, people know I, I listen to the show probably. I went to Afghanistan to do stand-up, but you went to Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the soldiers told you to watch out because... The, the prisoners might actually throw human feces at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we were walking. Now, we got to see all of the holding cells, which were really cool, like everything. So, But we were walking by the outside, and they go, they're playing soccer out here, and don't talk from here to there. And we were like, why? And they said, they'll throw shit at you. And I was like, like trash? And they were you like, no, 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 like you can't, shit. I, you know, I should have told you, you can't curse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can't? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, it's my fault. <laughs> my fault, I said it four times. No, I, I, <laughs> people should, people should, people backstage should yeah. tell you that. I, I mean, I, I, but you can, human feces, yeah. Yeah, right, human feces. Uh, wow. Wait, I mean, so, wait a minute, so look pictures. They'll stop a soccer game? <laughs> yeah. And yep. any, anybody got to take a dump? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, time out, time out. <laughs> you know, everybody else takes time out to take a sip of water, they take time out to poo in their hands. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got this one. I actually, I just, what, what I what I pictured them, honestly, because I thought about this too, as a comic, you do think of that, like how they do it. Right. I pictured that they that they just all poo on the side when they, they have, have a to. Stock. They have a like, little stock. Yeah, yeah. They, they have, have a stockpile. <laughs> so whenever, whenever, whenever well, they, they are need soldiers, to, technically. Yeah, yeah. They have that mentality. You always need ammunition. We, I gotta tell you, the funniest thing was we went and we got to stand and watch all the. How the, many guys were you with? Or girls? Or how many? Comics? It was two guys, two girls. Yeah. So four and, uh, comics. Four really. comics. Yeah. And um, by the way, they were starved. They, I said, when's the last, who's the last entertainer you had? And they said, Bo Bice. <laughs> really? <laughs> and, I said, and they said, nobody wants to come here because it's not glamorous. That's true. Everybody, you think about it, everybody's like Iraq or yeah. Afghanistan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. But um, <laughs> we, yeah, we, it was amazing. We watched them in their cells. Yeah. And I said, what's he doing? And uh, the guy was like, oh, he's playing PlayStation. And I said, what? <laughs> they said, well, every cell has PlayStation. And That's said, amazing. And I said, why? And they said, we found when we were nicer to them, they stopped throwing poop at us. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You, yeah. yeah. Listen, guys, we have to sit down. What's, what's it going to take to get you to stop throwing poop? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All of us, we got together. We said, yeah. listen, we're at a standstill. <laughs> That's what it was. And they, we'll I'll, meet you halfway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. And I love we that. can't let you out. We can't let you out. <laughs> but we'll and, I love PlayStation. and I love when they went back and said, okay, PlayStation. <laughs> That's what they came up with. Uh, and Cheetos and Pepsi. I'm sure. Like I was mm. like, are they supposed to? Because no, Pepsi's a no-no for well, that. Well, you don't want to give them fiber. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of cheese. Yeah. Lots of cheese for you guys let's and bind, white bread. Let's bind bread. you up. <laughs> oh, man, that's gross. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't good. But, you know, the guys were in the, the troops down there. Now, on Guantanamo Bay, they have crazy island fever. Yeah. And, you know, you can't get, because you can't go into Cuba. You can only stay in that one little right, part so of one. Right? All the soldiers are banging. Yeah, it, <laughs> and also, McDonald's runs out of food. So when we were there, they only had fries. Oh, wow. So when I was like, So wait, for soldiers, too? There would, not, there, there would be no food you had on to base? Wait for, they had food on base. But off uh, base, off there was base, a McDonald's. Could, eat. And there was a Taco Bell, I think. Got a McDonald's is out of food. Isn't that the one thing you think will never happen? It'll never run out of food. <laughs> McDonald's will never <laughs> not have food. They were like, we don't have our next shipment yet. I'm like, so what do you got? They go, we got fries. I was <laughs> like, how many you got? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me this, you don't have a vat of that special sauce back there? <laughs> By the way, yeah. I love when that happens. How everyone who's like, you know, strict Atkins diet, like, forget that—that that goes out the back door. Like, what do you got? I'm starving. I'm—I'm yeah. I'm not allergic to gluten anymore. <laughs> what, what is gluten? I, <laughs> I don't know. I—I I, I can't even. It's something somebody made up about some four months ago. <laughs> protein. Yeah, it's in bread, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> and apparently, I've eaten a lot of it. Or <laughs> yeah, going to the doctors, I've had a lot of gluten. Uh, That's the problem. Well, that, so did you go one time over there? Went one time over there, yeah. and um. You know, my oldest, well, my oldest son. This is amazing. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 43. You're 43 and you have a 16-year-old son. So that's yep. not, well, not that bad. Not that you, bad. Look, you look younger. I thought you were going to say you were 33 years old. No. I was 16-year-old. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and what, what, uh, a long time ago, I met a, um, I met a woman. She had two kids from a previous relationship. Right. We had a child together. I kicked her out, but I kept all three kids. <laughs> wow. She, she had a little bit of a habit. So, um, so, yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, yeah, so that's what that book's about. But yeah, my oldest is in Afghanistan and he Man. is completely 
different. Because I can Skype with him now. Yeah. So the person he was when he left is like. Right. Oh. I go, no, you, you get. I Listen, I went there for eight days and I'm. <laughs> I mean, I was in Afghanistan for eight days and I'm a different person. I saw stuff. We were under mortar attack. Uh, one after one of the shows on our way to a, a meet and greet. No. And, uh, re really, we got, we were all, we did, after each stand-up show, we'd have to do a meet and greet, you know, we signed pictures and everything. And uh, you get in the, we got in a big Humvee, and uh, you talk about a crew. It was, it was me, David Tell, uh. Uh, Jim Florentine, <laughs> Nick DiPaolo, and Baba Bowie from the Howard Stern Show. Uh, and uh, they know, were going after you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were. You know, so so right, like it was right out of a movie. They were like incoming, and uh, we went into a bunker for like an hour while there was bombing going on. And uh, you just see the looks in these guys' eyes. You see the barracks and stuff. And just for eight days, I mean, if I had like a two-year bid there or something, or a year. Were you wearing vests? Duty, yeah, we had the vests and everything. See, that's what my son said. He was like, it's a difference between that. And I, I asked him one day, I go, what are you doing today? And he sent me a picture of a gate. Right. And he said, stare at that for eight hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, okay, yeah, see, so it. it's either intense action or boredom that messes with your mind. Or absolutely right, nothing. Yeah, right, absolutely yeah. nothing. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Well, listen, that's better than the action. He, yeah. Tell him yeah. to deal yeah. with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'll take the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah without right. a doubt. Well, then, well, first of all, you know, what are, you know, I, I, just knowing most comics uh -huh. that I know, what an, incre what an incredibly mature thing you did in taking these two children because it was a responsible decision. Like, there's, like, there's kind I wouldn't trust with a pair of shorts uh, for a weekend. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like and you, yeah. you, you went to stand up at that point? And yeah. Was, living listen, that li lifestyle? And uh, I used to take my kids to, like, I lived in, I live in LA. Right. So I would take my kids to the improv, and while I went on stage, comics would watch them for me. Chelsea Handler That's babysat my kids. <laughs> That's well, at least you had a woman doing yeah. it. Yeah. Well, do you know who Joey Diaz is? Yeah, I know of him. Yeah, yeah. Joey Joey was yeah. my babysitter. Right. Here, here, Joey, here's when he stopped being my babysitter. Typical comic. My daughter was six at the time, and Joey doesn't wear underwear, and he's a big dude. <laughs> and he bent over and dropped something, and he his butt crack was showing, and she ripped some hair out of his crack. <laughs> Wait! And she said, how many? And he goes, oh, it felt like six that time. <laughs> and I go, that time? What? That means that happened more yeah, than once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little game she has with Joey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was when that... But that wow. Yeah, as a comic. And well, no, that, that, that's impressive, man. I, 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 first of all, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, not to make any judgments about this woman you were with, but what, what judge is saying, okay, a comedian can have the kid? Uh. <laughs> 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 My God. Yeah, no, it wasn't good. But right. she, but she didn't, luckily she didn't show up and uh, listen i was no i was no saint i'm not no, saying I'm, i was I'm a saint saying you know you, you were a comic yeah you're, plus exactly even if you're the sweetest guy in the world you know it's not a lifestyle for you know it's it's very difficult so well i give you i give you props you gotta take a break right. again we're here with josh wolf uh we'll come back with him again new york times best-selling author it takes balls dating single moms and other confessions from an, an unprepared single dad we'll talk about that a little bit too and uh, we'll be right back